Hi viewers, welcome to my class on Mechanics of Materials. In today's class, we will work out two more numerical examples on thermal stresses. Let us start. A rail line with each rails 30 meter long are laid at minus 10 degree centigrade. The expansion clearance given between rails during the installation is 8 mm. Find the following. First part, truss induced in the rails when the temperature changes to 38 degrees centigrade. Second, the maximum temperature at which no stress is induced in the rails. So the problem is, uh, we have 30 meter long rails for railway and it is laid that is installed at minus 10 degrees centigrade. At the time of installation, the temperature was minus 10 degrees centigrade. You know, due to temperature change, the rails will expand. When weather condition changes, the rails may expand due to increase in temperature. So, when the temperature increases, if no expansion allowance is provided between rails, then these rails will be subjected to compressive stress. Okay. If, if there is no expansion allowance, if they are constrained from expansion, it will be subjected to compressive stress. And due to this compressive stress, the rails may buckle. So to avoid this, usually at the time of installation, we provide some clearance or some gap between each rail. So this is expansion allowance. So expansion allowance given is 8 mm in this case. And at the time of installation temperature is minus 10 degrees centigrade. We need to find out the stress induced in the rails when the temperature increases to 38 degrees centigrade. Now even though we have provided the expansion allowance 8 mm when the temperature increases to 38 degrees centigrade stress may be induced but if no expansion allowance provided then stress induced will be more because of this expansion allowance stress may be reduced the uh, second part of the question is the maximum temperature at which no stress is induced in the rails so what maximum temperature and there will be no stress induced in the rails so let us work out length of the rails is given 30 meter so this is a rail a portion of the rail is given so i just shown a uh, diagram representing the rails here okay so this is actually the rails and this is expansion uh, allowance gap gap at the time of installation and it's uh, bolted like this so there is a provision for the uh, expansion so each rail can expand now the gap here again, another rail you will have a gap 8 mm. Each rail is getting uh, expansion allowance 4 mm this side, 4 mm this side. Because even this rail will be expanding on either side. So this cannot expand all this 8 mm. This direction it can expand only 4 mm. And this direction uh, 4 mm. So total each rail can expand by 8 mm. Even though the gap is 8 mm, both the rails are expanding on um, both the directions. So this can expand 4 mm this side and 4 mm towards the other side. So totally 8 mm uh, is the expansion provided for each rail. So length is uh, given 30 into 10 days to 3 mm. 30 meter means 30 into 10 days to 3 mm. Initial temperature is minus 10 degrees centigrade. So finally when the temperature is 38 degrees centigrade, what is the uh, stress induced? So alpha value is given 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 per degree centigrade. Alpha value means it is the amount of expansion in unit length per degree centigrade. So actually the unit will come as meter per meter degree centigrade. So what is the linear expansion? in meter per meter length per degree centigrade okay so meter per meter will cancel and unit will be per degree centigrade 
so it is due to unit temperature change what is the expansion in unit length of the bar so that is a coefficient of linear expansion e is 200 gigapascal 200 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm expansion allowed between rails is 8 mm and uh, temperature changes uh, final temperature is 38 initial temperature minus 10 so the difference in temperature is 48 degrees centigrade okay and now free thermal expansion is given by alpha l delta t where alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion for the material and l is the length and delta t is the temperature change in this case it's 48 degrees centigrade so substituting the values you will get 17.28 mm so that means each rail can expand by 17.28 mm when temperature changes through 48 degrees centigrade from minus 10 it has gone to 38 degrees centigrade when that temperature change occurs each rail free expansion is 17.28 but what is the allowance provided only 8 mm it can only expand by 8 mm okay so that is a gap provided okay so 4 mm it can expand this direction 4 mm in the other direction so 8 mm only is provided so what happens when uh, it tries to expand 17.28 mm for this temperature change it will uh, fill the gap when it comes to some temperature the gap will be filled uh, that a free expansion will end to some extent it will be a free expansion initial stages of uh, temperature change increase it will be free expansion there is a clearance but uh, later stage when the temperature rises the gap is already filled and further expansion will be prevented because there is no allowance so later on if when it tries to expand due to the temperature change no uh, gap is existing so in that case compressive stress will be induced so further uh, temperature change will induce compressive stress so since this uh, free thermal expansion is more than the gap provided which is 8 mm uh, stress will be induced suppose this is less free thermal expansion for the temperature change is less then uh, no stress will be induced suppose the temperature change is only uh, 2 degrees or so delta t then you will get a very small value okay it will be less than 1 mm in that case no stress will be induced there are 8 mm gap so no stress will be induced in the rails so in this case uh, definitely we know that uh, because free expansion is more than the expansion allowed uh, thermal stresses will be induced and we know the formula for thermal stresses temperature stress induced is the difference in free expansion and expansion allowed divided by length into Young's modulus. So free thermal expansion is alpha L delta T in minus del A expansion allowed divided by length of the rails into Young's modulus which will work out to 64.96 Newton per mm square. So I did not use the formula to get the sign convention. So I just worked out the numerical values, the difference I have taken. So we know that uh, due to that uh, expansion, only compressive stress can induce. So the nature of stress induced in the rails is compressive. So 64.96 Newton per mm square compressive stress will be induced in the rails at that temperature. Now second part of the question is for no stress in the rails. Okay what is the temperature to what maximum temperature the rails can be subjected to for no stress to be induced so when it will be maximum temperature so as the temperature increases the rails start expanding until that gap is filled no stress will be induced so when the expansion is 8 mm till that free expansion free expansion uh, it can be 8 mm beyond that uh, 8 mm it is not free expansion the gaps are filled beyond 8 mm if uh, rails expand the gaps are filled no further temperature rises uh, there is no gap and stress will be induced 
so the maximum temperature at which nose press in the rails is when it expands to 8 mm or free expansion should be 8 mm so that means del a is equal to alpha l delta t or if you see in this equation you get equate stress to zero you you will get the numerator e cannot be zero so numerator this has to be zero or alpha, uh, alpha l delta t should be equal to del a so del a should be equal to alpha l delta t and uh, del a we know permitted expansion is 8 mm and uh, alpha l delta t alpha is 12 into 10 days to minus 6 alpha l delta t alpha is 12 into 10 days to minus 6 l is 13 to 10 days to 3 and delta t e, we are finding out so delta t will work out uh, from this as 22.22 .22. So that is a temperature change. Delta T means temperature change. And uh, delta T we know it is final minus initial temperature. So you get the final temperature as adding this with the initial temperature that is minus 10 you will get the final temperature as 12.22 degrees centigrade. So that means it can rise up to 12.22 degrees centigrade. The temperature can uh, increase to 12.22 degrees centigrade when it uh, reaches 12.22 degrees centigrade its free expansion will be equal to 8 mm so it has free thermal expansion will be for that temperature free thermal expansion of the rails will be 8 mm and the gaps will be just uh, filled and no further uh, gap will be existing for that temperature and further if it's heated there is no gap and the stress will be induced in the rails. Let us work out another example on, on this. In this example, rail lines are laid such that there is no stress in them at 18 degrees centigrade. If the rails are 32 meter long, determine the stress in the rails at 44 degrees centigrade. The stress in the rails at 44 degrees centigrade when there is no allowance for expansion. The stress in the rails at 44 degrees centigrade when there is no allowance for expansion. Second part of the question is the stress in the rails at 44 degrees centigrade when there is an expansion allowance of 8 mm per rail. Third part is the expansion allowance for no stress in the rails at 44 degrees centigrade. Coefficient of linear expansion alpha is 11 into 10 days to minus 6 per degree centigrade and Young's modulus is 205 gigapascal. So once again this uh, example on uh, rails. So rails are 32 meter long and it is laid at 18 degree centigrade. Now in that time of insulation no stress is induced. Either uh, gap is provided or expansion allowance is provided or there may not be any expansion allowance. Even no expansion allowance at the time of installation, no stress will be induced because no temperature change. Even though if you are not providing gap, it will be okay for that uh, temperature. Only if the temperature rises, stress will be induced. So whether you provide the expansion allowance or not at the time of installation, no stress will be induced unless you tightly pack and uh, compress it and install no stress will be induced in the rail so first part of the question is if the temperature rises to 44 degrees centigrade and uh, if you are not giving any expansion allowance that starting of the installation at the time of installation if no expansion allowance is provided what will be the stress in the rails that means delay is zero if a delay is zero and uh, no uh, expansion allowance is given and uh, if you install it what will be the stress in the rails when the temperature rises to 44 degrees centigrade. Second part of the question is uh, when you are providing 8 mm expansion allowance that is you are providing initially some gap 8 mm gap then what will be the stress induced in the rails at 44 degrees centigrade okay some uh, less amount of stress will be induced in this case because we have provided some 8 mm gap in on the rails the last part of the question is uh, what should be the expansion allowance uh, on the rails for no stress 
induced in the rails so when its temperature uh, increases and even if you provide 8 mm some stress may be induced now to have no stress at this temperature what should be the initial expansion elements and you are given alpha value and Young's modulus let us work out so first part of question stress when there is no expansion elements that means the rails I just represented the rails as a rectangular blocks no gap is provided okay so without any gap the rails are filled so it cannot expand so at the time of installation no stress is induced just uh, they are touching and uh, you have installed it at that temperature 18 degrees centigrade temperature now the stress induced you can uh, the formula is uh, this general formula you can take it as general formula alpha l delta t minus del a divided by l when some expansion elements is there but when there is no expansion elements del a will be zero you can cancel l and you get alpha delta t and e is there so alpha delta t will be the stress induced and this we have already derived in the starting when there is no expansion permitted no expansion or contraction permitted the stress induced is alpha delta t you can uh, get it from by substituting del a zero minus alpha delta t you should take when there is a sign convention required when you work out for numerical values there is no need of taking the sign convention and sigma t you can write it as alpha delta t delta t you substitute uh, temperature change and you will be getting the stress and we know that it's going to be compressive stress in a single material when it is subjected to heating only compressive stress can induce and we know that delta t uh, initial temperature was 18 degree centigrade and final temperature is 44 degree centigrade at the time of installation the temperature is 18 degree centigrade we need to find out the stress when temperature rises to 44 degree centigrade so the temperature change is 44 minus 18 so that is 26 so 26 degree centigrade is the temperature change and uh, Young's modulus is uh, 205 giga pascal 205 into 10 days to 3 newton per mm square alpha is 11 into 10 days to minus 6 so which gives a stress value of 58.63 newton per mm square and we know that it's going to be compressive stress because um, the temperature is increasing so it can only induce compressive stress so when the temperature rises to 44 degrees centigrade and if initially if you are not providing any gap it is only totally um, constrained and so much of stress will be induced in the rails now second part of the question is if uh, there is an 8 mm allowance given so 8 mm gap is provided then what will be the stress induced in the rails so you are providing 8 mm gap and uh, once again the temperature rises to 44 degree centigrade that means uh, for 26 degree rise from initial 18 degree centigrade it rises to 44 degree centigrade so delta t is once again 26 degrees centigrade now free thermal expansion how much that uh, rails can expand for this temperature change that you can find out Al uh, alpha l delta t is a free thermal expansion alpha is 11 into 10 days to minus 6 l is 32 into 10 days to 3 uh, that is 32 meter 32 into 10 days to 3 mm and uh, delta t is 26 for the temperature change so it will work out as 9.152 mm so for this temperature change the rails will expand each rail will expand by 9.152 mm but there is only 8 mm gap so we have provided some gap in the first uh, case there was no gap so all this totally no expansion was allowed but in this case there is 8 mm gap so expansion permitted is 8 mm uh, delay is 8 mm so we have on the formula for stress induced thermal stress induced as alpha l delta t minus del a divided by l into e now delta t is uh, 26 and we already calculated alpha l delta t and uh, that we got it as 9.152 mm 
so 9.152 minus del a is 8 mm so 8 divided by length is 32 into 10 raised to 3 in the Young's modulus is 205 into 10 raised to 3 because uh, alpha l delta t is greater than del a expansion permitted stress will be induced okay if you get alpha l delta t when you work out alpha l delta t you are getting less than 8 mm no stress will be induced in the rails okay you cannot blindly use this formula if alpha l delta t is less than 8 mm then no stress will be induced on the rails okay in this case alpha l delta t is greater than uh, del a so stress induced will be 7.38 newton per mm square compressive stress okay so because it's uh, heating can only induce compressive stress in the material so here you can see that there is a lot of reduction in stress uh, due to this uh, elements provided initial gap provided so that is the importance of the initial expansion elements in the rails so in the previous case we had uh, 58.63 newton per mm square stress now it is only 7.38 newton per mm square so even the weather condition changes stress induced will be meager amount and no buckling on the rails will take place now third part of the question is for no stress in the rails at that uh, 44 degree centigrade no, when the temperature rises to 44 degree centigrade still no stress to be induced in the rails what expansion allowance you should initially what expansion allowance you should provide so for uh, no stress to be induced in the rails when the temperature changes to 44 degrees centigrade uh, that means you should uh, have that free expansion for that temperature change 9.152 is a free expansion so you should provide that 9.152 mm gap so it can it will expand by 9.152 if you provide then at least a 9.152 mm gap initially then no stress will be induced more gap you can provide if you provide 10 mm no stress will be induced but what is the minimum expansion allowance that should uh, be provided for that no stress will be induced so that will be 9.152 so this delay should be equal to alpha l delta t or you can equate the sigma equation stress equation to zero you will get del a is equal to alpha l delta t and that will when you work out no that will give the minimum initial expansion allowance to be provided so that uh, no stress will be induced in the rails and it's already we worked out in the previous uh, case so we got 9.152 mm this is a free expansion for the temperature change so much gap you should initially provide so that when it is expand to this amount the rails will uh, just fill the gap and no stress will be induced only further rise in temperature beyond 44 degrees centigrade if it increases then stress will be induced that's all for today thank you for watching